Hey, welcome back everyone. Toy Shiz here. Got a little something different to talk about today. Yes, there will be eventually action figures in this video, rest assured. Haven't gone off the deep end just yet, but now hitting Walmart stores, a little bit of a smattering of new entertainment movie inspired, for lack of a better term, tchotchke type gifts. Stuff that might enhance your collections in various ways. So we have things that will go for action figure collections, DVD collections, perhaps even video game collections, or maybe just you're a big fan of one of these movies, right? And you want to put it on your desk at work. That's a big thing happening, especially in the last couple of years. People want to show off their fandoms and now you could properly do it with some of these newer items. There is even a Ghostbusters set. And while I'm a huge fan of Ghostbusters, perhaps we will take a look at this later. Wasn't really for me at first. Let's just say that. But what was for me was the brand new Beetlejuice, the animated series, Color Forms. I'm sorry. Can't say color forms anymore. We have to say clingers. Peel and stick and create your own adventures again and again. All of these things we're going to look at today do come with a movie rental from Fandango at home, but it's utilizing that gorgeous artwork from the old animated series, and let's be honest, there ain't a whole heck of a lot of merch these days for Beetlejuice the Animated Series. Now, essentially, color forms were this. You get a background scene, this one being BJ's Roadhouse. You get to choose your favorite characters, and you have fun mixing and matching the scene. I know it sounds odd, but back in the day, these were amazing, right? And again, I love the art that they've chosen. It's all over the box. Purples, greens, very Beetlejuice. They absolutely nailed the packaging. But I will tell you this, it's a little pricey at 20 bucks. So we're going to take a deep dive look at this and see if the price matches what you get. Moving on, we have Nooks. And I love just saying that name. Nooks, this one being the Gremlins version, a way to kind of enhance your DVD collection, video games, VHS, right? Your favorite movies and books will jump right off the shelf. So you get exactly what it is. It's just a little art piece to enhance those various collections. And you look at it, you set it up, it stares back at you. This illustration looking like a Goomba in a shirt trying to escape your bookshelf, but you get the idea. Here's the barcode. And like I said, these are all starting to hit the Walmart entertainment section, the back parts with the TVs and such. The last thing we're going to check out is the three deep VHS, right? So it's a little bit of a New Dimension in Collecting, that works out for the Friday the 13th Part 3 3D, right? This is supposed to be like a VHS recreation 3D sort of art piece, right? Comes to life, kind of, sort of. So it doesn't really exactly come across that in the box, but I'm explaining it to you. You, you, you get it now, hopefully. Hangs on your wall, or you could put it on your shelf, your desk. Put it in the back of your Zoom meeting. Let everyone know you're a crazy person. <laughs> <laughs> Three deep VHS. We're going to take a deep dive look at that as well. So this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at some of the brand new movie, horror, science fiction, cartoon, the whole enchilada, right? Offerings that you can find now at your local Walmart in the entertainment section. So we'll kick things off with the Nook. Again, love saying that. Now, essentially, you get what this is. It's a really well-painted gremlin that's creeping out from your bookshelf, right? Your DVD collection. And is just supposed to spruce things up a bit. There's not a whole heck of a lot to it. A little bit of writing on the back. Gremlins, Culture Fly. You get the idea. It comes with this metal piece. Helps it better stand on the shelf, on your desk, so it's not going to go tumbling, falling every two seconds. And for what you get in the box, for what it's supposed to be, it's okay, right? But once you get it in between some DVDs, maybe you're the book person, maybe you're the VHS person, it does bring it to life. Especially if you're a big fan of NECA toys and all their horror offerings and you got some gremlins, yeah, you can definitely have some fun. It's a little pricey at 25, let's be honest. But it's got some good paint. It's well made. At least you got that going on. It's going to take up some space, roughly four DVDs, give or take, depending on the thickness of your DVD, unless you have a DVD collection. Four DVDs. Let's just leave it at that. But yes, it does set out what it's supposed to do. It enhances 
your DVD collection. Although I'd say with the fins on the side of the gremlin's head, make sure you put those movies that you don't really want to watch all too much because you're going to have to move those every single time you want to pull those specific DVDs out. That's the one drawback. But again, as I'll reiterate, it's not too shabby in addition to your old DVD collection. Now moving in to the three deep VHS. This one is where they kind of lost me a little bit, right? Like, it looks okay. You get Friday the 13th, Part 3, 3D. You get a little weapons tree, quote-unquote. It's the blood effect for the logo. And you essentially clip the blood out, and you stick it onto the various words of the logo. It's a little janky to me, if I'm being honest, right? It does fit on there. It's pretty sturdy, although I'm not sitting around trying to flick the blood off, you know what I mean? But... That's one aspect I don't really like. Also, when I was doing that, the shower head fell out. Now, it's supposed to be glued in there. Evidently, it wasn't glued in very well, so it just came a toppling out. It fit back in there, but at the same time, it just feels very, yeah, you know what I mean? Not something that is for me. Not something I would personally recommend. Perhaps, like I said, if you're one of those where you're a big fan of horror, you have some action figures going on, you want to see it, all different aspects, all different sides. You can even hang it on your wall. Like I said, it's got a little hanger at the top of these things. Then this definitely might be for you. Because yes, when you do have an action figure next to this, that's actually pretty cool. Is this necessarily for me? No, not really. But hey, it might be for you. And it does add a little something to an action figure display. So while I would say it's not the best out of the entirety of what we're looking at today, but then it's not something that's for me, and no, I won't be getting any more. Now, in looking at the final item, which is, of course, the Beetlejuice, the animated series, Color Forms, Clingers set, I'm really hoping that this is worth the $20, because yeah, it's on the pricey side, but again, this is supposed to be a quote-unquote collector's item. Again, you don't see a lot of animated merchandise anymore, right? Clingers, Color Forms or otherwise. So it's very much a nice display box. At least it's got that going on. Inside, you get to see everything. Very simplistic. Not too much. Not too crazy. You get the rental card. The rental code on the back. You go over to Fandango at home, and then you can rent a movie. Go ahead. Pick one. It could be Beetlejuice if you really wanted to go that route. You do get several color form sheets. You also get a desiccate silica gel. Throw this away. Do not eat it. Just as a warning. And then, yes, several sheets of color forms, like the sandworm from the animated series. And you got Beetlejuice holding his head, right, when he would pop that off. The boink, the crunch, all the sound effects. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. And then you get the nice, beautiful character designs. You got Lydia and Beetlejuice with their eyes bugging out some effects, right? That's cool. And then you also have Ginger the Spider and Jacques, right? That's pretty cool to see those characters. Usually it's just Beetlejuice and Lydia, if anything. But you also have a snake. You can help me out on that. I don't really remember the snake. Now, inside the box for the actual scene, it's BJ's Roadhouse, right? And that is a really nice backdrop, I will say. However, because it's 2024 and it's something I would have always loved to have seen when I used to play with color forms was we could have had multiple scenes from Beetlejuice the Animated Series instead of just one. So I think that for the price point, you could have swapped those out. Maybe two, hey, three would have even been better, right? Something other than just the same old, same old. They did give us 19 nice vinyl color forms, so there's that. But again, there's only so much you could do. But again, these are for children. You can't really pop this whole tray out either. I've tried, maybe you can, I finagle it. One thing I need to point out though, in utilizing the clingers, the color forms. They're nicely done. They're pretty much like the old school color forms, but they're die cut and they're not exactly perfectly die cut, right? So it's kind of a bummer. You don't want to ruin anything, tear anything. You will tear it if you pull it wrong, but that's just one aspect where, again, for the price tag, they should have been cut nicely. And I'm going to tell you this, the colors are great, Again, it feels like an old-fashioned color form. You can reuse them at your leisure. You put them on the scene. You get the idea. But in utilizing others, every single color form that I tried to pull off the sheets was not properly cut. I had to pull each one off. I didn't ruin anything, 
But again, it's just something. And then on Ginger the Spider, you see her eyelashes. They goof the cut there. They didn't transfer the eyelashes to the thing. These are minor problems. But again, these aren't problems that it should have, right? But you can definitely set the scene. And I do love the background that you get mixed with the vinyl color forms. You can have a lot of fun. The sandworm is one of those giant color forms. You can have Beetlejuice and Lydia with their eyes bugging out. Yes, there's a lot of fun to be had here. You could just buy it and leave it in the box too, right? Maybe you don't want to play with it. I totally understand. But for the sake of this video, yeah, it's not too shabby. Although, again, as I've said, certain elements, certain changes, especially in cutting the color forms perfectly, that would have been nice, right? So that'll wrap it up for my quick look at some of the new recent offerings from the Nacelle Toys and Culture Fly Entertainment sections at Walmart. Not all of this is going to be everybody's thing, but there are some aspects to these that do have a certain charm to them, like the Gremlins, right? With the whole Nooks thing. That could spice up your DVD collection, and I could see a lot of horror fans really gravitating for a lot of these. Toy fans, I see you guys with your horror collections, your movie collections, right? Nice little backdrops, nice little additives. Beetlejuice, the animated series fans, you can comment below. What do you guys think about this? I do love it. It is a little pricey, but you got me because, well, there's not a whole heck of a lot of that merch going around. The three deep VHS... That's the one where I'm going to say it's a pass for me, but it definitely might be something for you. And maybe perhaps I would like the other versions of the other VHS offerings. But you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything movies. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, check them out at your local Walmart. Maybe you'll find something good, and I'll put links when applicable down in the description below. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.